Hey everybody, my name is Chris Cubison. I work at D'Alessio Law Group on the communications team. Hope you're all happy and healthy throughout these times. We're still working remotely around the clock to make sure that our clients are up to date on all the latest information and immigration updates that we're seeing, for which there are many. Um, so I wanted to fill you guys in today on some changes that we're seeing underneath the uh, Biden administration. So on President Biden's first day in office, he signed a new presidential proclamation revoking the widely contested Muslim ban, uh, also known as the travel ban that was first introduced under the Trump administration in the first couple weeks of his presidency in 2017. Now, I'm sure all of you remember what those first couple weeks were like. Uh, the Trump presidency basically announced that it would be halting travel for most travelers coming from a number of Muslim majority countries. Now, those first couple weeks were really kind of defined by uh, confusion and various misinformation and miscommunication that was happening between the U.S. government as well as uh, border agents at various uh, crossings and airports. Um, there was a lot of panic. A lot of uh, immigration attorneys uh, flocked to airports to help travelers better understand what the situation was looking like and what details uh, they, know they needed to know. So basically, that first travel ban was uh, eventually uh, shot down, um, but another second travel ban was introduced and was held up by the Supreme Court. And that second travel ban basically cemented this policy that most travelers from countries including Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen, uh, they couldn't enter the United States. Now that's been held up for the past three years and uh, as many people know, that led to a lot of heartbreak. It led to a lot of changes in plans, both professionally and personally. A lot of people weren't able to return to their home countries, or, and also a lot of travelers and professionals weren't able to pursue their dreams in the United States. They had to remain in the countries that uh, they were coming from. So this news that uh, President Biden revoked these travel restrictions on the first day in office has a lot of people asking questions about uh, what this means for their own plans and their own uh, goals and strategies for entering the United States. So basically, in revoking that these travel restrictions, uh, the Biden administration outlined a number of policies and a number of plans that they intend to enact within the next 40 days, 40, 40 days from the signing, which was the first day in office on January 20th. So basically, this new proclamation calls for uh, information on these various visas that have been denied due to these travel restrictions. They're basically asking for the sheer number of visa applications that were considered uh, for waivers throughout this time, for which there were not very many. It's also uh, a proposed, there's also a proposal in the works to ensure that immigrant visa applications that were denied due to these travel restrictions to be reconsidered by USCIS. Uh, there's also more plans to determine whether uh, uh, people who have set forward these visa petitions will need to pay additional fees that they might have already paid but were denied due to the restrictions. And there is also a plan to hopefully expedite uh, consideration of these denied visas. Now, the, the, this proclamation is important. It's also kind of setting up the groundwork for future policy that we hope to see in the next month or so coming from the Biden administration. But basically what we and a lot of other immigration advocates are hoping for with these new policies is that there's some understanding from the administration that there's already been an undue hardship placed on those who have been denied visa status through these restrictions and that any policies moving forward should cater to those people so as to not make the process more difficult. I mean, think about it. If you're applying for a visa and you wanted to continue your career in the United States or work at a company, but be, throughout the past three years you haven't been able to due to these restrictions, it should be only fair that whatever policies the Biden administration introduces should cater to those people who have already gone through undue hardship. So basically, this proclamation is setting up a, a timeline for changes that need to be implemented. Now, we're going to be paying close attention to what these policies are looking like and how they're shaping up. We expect a number of updates coming within the next month. Like I said, that 40-day period that the administration calls for is directed at the Department of Homeland Security as well as USCIS. It's 
really a matter of fact finding and finding how the sheer number of uh, applications that were denied due to these restrictions. Now, there are a couple numbers that are floating around. Um, I've seen estimates that as of 2019, there were already around 43,000 applications that were denied. And I'm sure that that number was even greater uh, because it hadn't even considered applications after 2019. So like I said, we're going to be paying close attention to this news and we'll be sure to update you when we have new updates. And if you are curious as to how this proclamation affects your goals or your plans for coming to the United States, feel free to drop us a line. Our number is 310-909-3934 or you can email us at info at dlgimmigration.com. And of course, be sure to follow us on all social media to stay up to date with the latest changes. Uh, and wishing you happiness and health on uh, your side of things. Thanks so much. Take it easy.